Okay, so let's get you guys warmed up, give yourself some room. So we're just gonna get some star jumps going just to get the heart rate up. We'll practice some of the movements as we go along during the warm-up. We're gonna mobilize the joints, activate the muscles. Make sure we prepare for the workout. Right, chest swings up and up. Then cross body is wrapping around. Right, so we're going to rope jumps. I want you to imagine you've got your invisible skipping rope. So it's one of the movements in the first one we're going to do today. So jump rope, you can mix it up any way you like. You can go back to front, side to side. You can even get some foot shuffles going back and forth and side to side. It's up to you. All right, let's get some hinge work going. So we're going to hinge back, stretch those hamstrings, bring it in. We've got loads of kettlebell swings, loads of kettlebell work. What are we doing? So we're going to make sure we're practicing those patterns. Hinge your back, just stretch those hamstrings. Let's go into our squats. Straight down. Three, two, and stay down for me. Use your elbows to force your knees out, shoulders back, chest out. Right, we're gonna have four lunges alternating. So we're just gonna work through our lunge pattern too. Reverse side lunges, get nice and low. As low as you can go. A nice stretch to the glute. Low down, two. One, and then reverse lunges, bring forward, it's a big step back. So you get a nice stretch down the long muscle of the quad into the hip flexor. Also you can add a bit of a knee distraction in, so as we're lunging back, push the knee away from you, away from the center of the body. So a bit of a hip opening effect as well on the front leg. Two, step back, last one. Right, sit back and take a little stretch again. It's a little bit lower now. Shoulders back, chest up. All right, let's go onto your hands and knees. We're gonna go to cats and dogs. Gonna take a nasty breath in. So you can start with mobilizing your spine. There's add some rotations in to reach underneath, open up, alternate sides. Your head follows your hands. Watch it all the way around. Last one each side, last one. All right, into your fire hydrant sequence, we're gonna work through the hips. So knee moves away from the body. Kick back into your glutes. Circle hip forward. Circle back. And then rock back into it. Two. And down, other side, knee moves away, kick back into your glutes, circle the hip forward, circle back, and then rock back into it, keep the back nice and straight, three, two, and down, right transition onto your back for me, let's keep the glutes, so I've got a good activation, core activation, and then we'll go to the upper body. So glute bridges to start. All right, hold that top position, pulse those knees out. Keep contracting the glutes. Three, two, one. Bring your hips down. Bring your knees up in line with your hips. And we're going to dead bugs. So driving your lower back into the floor. So there's no gap. And then extend the leg out one leg at a time. Two, one, legs up in the air, skull walk, just drive the upper abs in. Let's go five, four, three, two, and hold it there. Five, four, hold the crunch. Three, two, one, and down. Nice, good job. All right, you're gonna serve for me. Put your legs, hands on your back, legs nice and straight. So we're gonna get those hip flexors firing up, so I'll do loads of squat work and hinging work today. So you're gonna just lock your leg up like nice and straight, pull your toes towards you. And then you're gonna slowly lift the leg off the floor, keeping it as straight as possible. Keeping the spine nice and straight. You wanna keep doing that until you can feel a bit of a dull, sort of cramping feeling in the top of the hip. So right at the top of the muscle. 
the quad. Keep going. Three. And switch. And the leg. So it's nice, low controlled. Keep that leg straight as possible. Pull the toe towards you. So a lot of swinging actions are slowly just lifting off the floor, controlling down. We gotta make sure that leg's locked out straight. So we just wanna get this hip flexor firing up. Two, one, and nice, good job. Okay, just transition onto your stomach. We're gonna start activating the posterior chain now. Left body, All right, so we're gonna go into your Back extensions, butterfly back extensions. Rotate the hands, rotate the shoulders. Rotate, rotate, squeeze the spirit. Right, hold that top position. Five, four, three, two, one. Onto your knees, push ups. Just gonna put that control down slow. Hold that bottom position, squeeze his hands in together. Five, four, three, two, one. Into your downward dogs. Hips up nice and high. Hold that top position. Shoulder press. Five, four, two, and down. Onto your knees. Chest swings up and up. So we're pulling back with the shoulder blades, cross bodies, other side, and then chest swings, oh sorry, shoulder rolls, shoulder roll forward, shoulder roll back, and then finish off the book opens, nice big reach the top, big stretch, four, three, two, and down, nice, good job, okay, get yourself set up. All right, into our first one, so we've got 100 drop ropes. So in your visible jump ropes, if you have a, uh, a real jump rope, you can use a real jump rope if you want to. Uh, and then we're gonna do 50 kettlebell swings total. So you can be any kettlebell swing you wanna do, singles, it can be doubles, alternating swings. And then we're gonna do alternating cleans. So clean is just the shoulder from the floor or from the, so that's, uh, from the hip swing movement there. So from there to there, 25 each side, okay? You can alternate or you can go 25 inch side, it's up to you. Obviously you can also progress the weight or regress the weight during the workout as well. If, if you start to get tired, okay? So if you have the option with a few different weights, have them ready to go. This can also be done with your dumbbells if you have dumbbells, okay? All right, so we've got 10 minutes in each round. Our goal is to do as many rounds of this as we can. So we're gonna go jump ropes, 100, 50 swings, 50 old cleans. You can start again, that's one round. Okay, so your goal is to complete as many rounds of that as you can. Okay, are you ready? Everyone go at their own pace. And move as hard as you can. Okay, in three, two, one, let's go jump ropes. Okay, now from there, into your swings. So remember the hinging movement. With the hamstring to the work. 50 reps total. Doing good.
right, I'm doing cleans, alternating cleans, or you can go 25 each side, it's going to be 50 reps total. Let's go. Looking good, guys. Remove your cleans. Work down the center of the body. Keep the kettlebell nice close to you. Looking good, come on. Forty seconds gone. When you're ready, keep going. Hold it. Step reps. Four minutes gone. Then jump ropes onto your swings. Bring it to our second round. Let's go. We can start mixing that now if you want. Good guys. Right. Into your cleans. Let's go. Say four minutes to go. Okay. 
Sorry, it's three minutes ago. Three minutes ago. Keep pushing. Pushing guys, let's go. Make sure all hooking two rounds by now. Let's see, whatever we got to this is bonus. seconds keep pushing let's go come on ten seconds come on Very good. Right, well, a one minute rest, get some water, one minute recovery, we go to what two. So what two, 60 side jumps, then we're hinge back and we go a bit of a rows. We go 15 each side, or if you wanted to, you could work down the middle. We can alternate from dead stop position to dead stop rise to 30. And then we go clean and press. So we go clean, we did four, now we're going to add a press to it, okay? We're going to decrease the reps. So by decreasing the reps, we're going to up the, up the volume by trying to get more rounds in, okay? So as the reps come down each ward, the goal is to try and increase as many rounds as we can. So that one, we did minimum two. Now we're going to try and get minimum three in this one, okay? Minimum three rounds. Okay, and hopefully the next one will be minimum four. All right, 30 seconds. Get a bit of extra time, get those heart rates down, rehydrate. Okay, good to do it. Okay, now restart the timer. So again, you're allowed to regress or progress the weights during the workout, yeah? So if it gets too heavy, regress it. If your technique goes, if you feel like it's too easy and you're smashing those rounds up too quick and, and your form is a bit sloppy, we increase that resistance, get a bit more feedback, okay? All right, ready, star jump, so with the star jump, before we start, we're counting every out jump, yeah? So this, one, two, three, so every time your feet split, it's one rep, yeah? It's not out and in, only on the split. Okay, ready, three, two, one, let's go. 60 is a goal.
Okay, bend for rows. So alternate the hands. So 30 reps total. 15 each side. Who's the hinge back? Back starts to straight. Inner press, alternating or 15 each side. It's up to you. Let's go. Work down the center of the body. Two and a half minutes gone. Very good, come on, let's go. Start jumps into rows. Bring the thirty reps total. Keep pushing on the top raise up. Five minutes gone. Come on. Come on. Come 
four minutes to go. Three minutes to go. Two minutes. Pushing. Come on. One minute. Come on. All the way. Come on. Come on, twenty seconds. So just managed three there for the push at the end. If you hit three, well done. That's very good. All right, let's take a nice second rest. Go on to your last and final one. We've got 40 reps total. So we're gonna step up. So you need a bench for this one, a bench or a stool or something like that. Make sure it's something that's very stable. Okay. And then we're gonna go into, so we've got 40 total, so it's alternating 20 leg. We're going to goblet squats, 20 alternating lunges. So we have a bench, use a bench. If 
It can be a weighted, a weighted or body weight step up. Let me start body weight first if you feel unstable. And then we grip as the rounds go on. All right, so we're gonna try hit four rounds this one. We should get four. Okay. Do this. Okay. All right. All right. You ready? All right. Rehydrate for me. You should be breathing hard. You should need this recovery. All right. Every time you're going to work out, your goals to max out. You push as hard as you can. You don't hold back, yeah. You push to your maximal effort. Okay, so step ups, weighted, all body weight. Remember, you try body weight first. For your first round, just get your get the movement right. Once you feel stable, then you can add a bit of resistance. Just be safe, okay? But if you feel happy with them, go straight to weighted, okay? So it's 20 each leg, or alternating. So everything's total reps, yeah? Then we've got goblet squats, 20 total, alternating lunges. Any kind of lunge, forward lunge, reverse lunge, curtsy lunges, side lunges, up to you, okay? All right, we ready? So step ups first, step ups first. We're gonna do weighted, I can be any weight, it can be body weight or weight, it's up to you, yeah? All right, we're good. We're starting in three, two, one, let's go. squat 20 Alternating lunges. Twenty total. So the tension. Like. Come on. Come on, guys. One round. Keep going.
Full stand up, yeah? Here you go, come on. Come on, guys. Five minutes. Come on. Keep on shaking. Come on. Ah. 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 Two more minutes to go. Push it. Two minutes, come on. Guys, come on. One off minutes. Huh? Come on. 
Two rounds, come on. We keep going, one minute. Keep pushing to failure. Stream that one you did four, well done. That was a tough one. All right, so slowly get those heart rates down. I want you guys to have a recovery walk after this. Go for a nice little stretch. So very, very well done. Awesome work. Hope you enjoyed it. Awesome stuff, guys. Well done.